Some events leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed and his victor claimed the throne. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England, and his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north another threat to his crown, so he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the Channel to England. The weather cleared. He seized his chance. Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move.
men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders, but William had an answer, his sharp-eyed archers. More Norman men-at-arms reinforced William's army. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. At first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his.
Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast, his army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together they approached Norman-held York, a large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force.
Williams for a 50 cents for the college compagnon. Avant, compagnon. Round je commande. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Spero, refaccio, me ubi vado, si, laborans. Escolto. Escolto. Roquedo. Edifico. Pero, orquest. Sì, ascolto. Ubivado. 
escondo. Sí. ¿Qué? Sí. ¿Qué? Cavalarios, quitamos. Obeyo. Odio. Un avant, Cavalarios. A calque, Cavalarios. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Si 
comme Vos Vol 13. Bon, votre service. Je suis votre serveuse. Access bets vos, compagnon. Avertisez vos procureurs, compagnon. Votre yet vos avouez. Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Escolto. Parat. Okay. Fuaro. The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes.
William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Corrigans Bacas. Access avant, compagnon. I'm 
attention In avant, Cavalario Parade The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat, an outpost on the water. William had a choice, bypass the encampment, destroy it, or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. Destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Tourmal. 
Dale. Si, Parat. Buen ordinario. Turma. Arquier Parat. Buen Mendes. Caval Parat. Dale. Movamos, vale todos. Sí, cabo. Cavalario, a medio course. Obeyo. Betrain. Quid mat. Cavalario. Bene. Odio. Sí, para. Si comme vos voltres.
The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Obedio. Bene, bene. 
Sagita in Arco. Access response for the venue. Vale. Arco parat.
The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him. King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. captured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him. King William II, known as William Rufus, But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. 
When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. approached Bayer and saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it.
the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. Yes, sir, friend, I knew. Each a worker. What the face, eh? So now... She's a worker. I'm your worker. Yaru to work. Don. Each timber fail. What the faith? Yes, yeah, sir. Understood. That's surely by your timber. Each brew cake. And you work? Yeah, yeah. It's a wheeler. Shh. Yes, yeah, sir. Each timber fail. Hang on. And you work, eh? Off each a gar. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayeux would not go unanswered, and now his forces braced for an attack by Robert's army. Shh. 
What's our fate? But he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Get to be ready for Hestis. It's live to hear it. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open yeah, fortress yeah, walls. Yeah. <laughs> Get 
Gutes for Warde Breckers mit Baldenes. Yarwe. Das Timber ist es. It shall be Timber Yarwe. Das Timber in Shale Bale. What has this? Brand Yaru. Yeah, way we get that. Unit. Ram Rinkus. It's Ayo, you don't. Police staff, Allah. Don't they fart it? Don't they swart it? The Ayo, see Aru, we get that. Did you feel that, sir? Here of Opa. Catherine Day Woodo. What? Congende new? Be a ten day flasher. Yaro has some. Full day? Yes, sir. Understood. With the power of battering rams, the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls.
Ichafolie. Ikarida. Arita no. Strail, Bob. On Mona, it is earthly. Bear Puka. Be what on the order. Is the act now up to Scala? Stand of Yaro. What third faith, eh? That surely be your temperate. Yeah. Gah! Gah! Eat your will, huh? Yes, sir. Redende. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayer, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. Oh, the hell is shot beyond that! 
your last spellers we got. Yes, sir. Each is safe, I guess.
Luciano. Say attende! Move! Down we go. And you won't off each a guard. That should have been old Timber. What the hell went they off? It's Timber. Way sent the airway. Hey, all right, I'm going to go to the border. As Bayer burned and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. burned, King Henry pressed his advantage. Seizing key fortifications and buying the loyalty of powerful lords, Henry loosened his brother's grip over Normandy. At Tinchebray in 1106, brother would fight brother for final claim to their father's lands. Determined to claim Normandy and capture his brother, Duke Robert, King Henry besieged the castle at Tinchebray. But the direct assault on the formidable stone castle was failing. Unable to breach the towering walls, the king devised a new plan to capture his brother. Henry would force Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages of Martigny and Fresnes. Robert out of his stronghold, Henry's men would burn the village to the ground.
Strel Order. Look at your beauty ready, Freckis. A Booga Strel Order. Get to the fourth quarter, Freckis. Mit Balder. Strel Order. Sieke. The village of Martigny was destroyed, but still Robert did not emerge to face Henry outside the castle. Henry would have to raise the stakes. Next, he targeted the village of Fren. Henry could buy reinforcements from nearby allies, if he could procure the gold to pay them. Henry received word that Robert had sent for a fresh army to aid in defending his position at the castle. Henry had to eliminate these new forces before they could combine with the garrison at Tinchebray. Henry sent gold to his ally in men and received fresh reinforcements. By eliminating Robert's incoming army, Henry had thwarted his brother's attempt at strengthening the castle's defences. Look at your be duty is not for dead. Good read of new Julius. Fourth one day, Freckness. Mid Baldenes. Fourth one day, Freckness. Mid Baldenes. Follow us with him. And be the word of Fred. And then take us, sir. At the hands of Henry's army, the village of Fren was in ruins. Henry's provocations had paid off. Robert finally emerged from the castle to face his brother in open battle. Henry sent gold to his ally in Brittany, and in return, a detachment arrived to bolster his numbers.
An Arne den de Swaget. Fuse to serve obeisance is Arne Athu. Yea, he come gun. Yet to the ready for Hestis. Nine Hestis. All is with Who to read a new Judas? He shall lay the young. He shall lay the young. Obeisance, certes. Then take yourself. It is Sita for actors. King Henry's tactic of luring Robert into the open had worked. Henry captured his brother, and Normandy was his. Conqueror's sons had resolved their long feud over Normandy, with King Henry resting possession away from his brother. But the French King Louis VI would not accept Henry's heir as the future Duke of Normandy. Henry's fragile power would face its first test, an invasion by the French King. In the disputed countryside between Normandy and France, a smouldering farmstead gave away the beginnings of a French invasion. At the head of the vast army stood King Louis of France himself. An English scout hastily rode to inform King Henry of England, who was still en route to defend his borders. Hearing of the threat, Villagers and guards fled their English-held towns and retreated to the stronghold of Fleury. Above all, 
the English forces in Normandy had been commanded to hold the town of Fleury and await King Henry's arrival. As the village of Crescenville fell, all English hopes lay in holding Fleury for the king's arrival. The town of Granville succumbed to the French, and the English were pushed back towards Fleury. Thank you. 
At last, King Henry and his forces made their arrival at Flory. Knowing that King Louis himself was on the field, Henry saw his chance to put England's claim to Normandy beyond doubt. To work at. Yes, sir. Where's the water? Aorth the lender. Cookage. There are you worth it. King Louis, determined to oust the English from Normandy, began sending attack parties to harass King Henry and his forces. That surely they owe to that. It is sequel to readeth no, Tulkus. Just stop the game! 
To work. Yaru to work. Rende.
What needed work, eh? He can build it that for that. Tulkes, set at you. What pay up in Heston? Yara, on to a marker. Dean Hester? Dean Hester? Virtual guidance. Yet to be ready for Hestus. What will come? Yara. Yara. Look at your BND record. What the records? The Some work here. What name? Red and they swear. 
Then they that rate the new. Yara on to a marker. Minstera is Yara. Get your way, thy tune folk are any ready. Yeah, yeah. So we they hate it. To a marker. Spider-Man, yeah. It is it on see they to work. Eh? Something to share, then. What Hestas have are they? Is full foot. I cannot see they too barren. Get to the resource. Then Hester? That will I be all good. Two turns. Oh, the Hester seems better. Oh, look, can he keep it? Good fackle, can he does?
Weapons you ready? I'm fed Something to Shetan, Rende Ayan Marcus. Athel could for Arnus, Mr. Athel Greetus. <laughs> King Henry's men struck at the French forces and recaptured the town. Every chan. If you go on flock, you're in Hester. Hester, Hester's in the world. Hester's commander of the stone. And send us well. And steer in the world. Two for a stand. We haven't stayed as bail man. Hester's commerce. And send us well. Hestes are two and a hit. He's stopping. On my way. 
Border towns recaptured, King Henry's claim to Normandy faced only one more obstacle King Louis and his army. In the humble peasants' fields of Bremur, two kings would settle their claim to Normandy. Tulkes, 
Far from home, but rallied by their king, the English army forced a French surrender and put King Louis and his knights to flight. With the impromptu battle ending in resounding victory for the English, King Henry had secured his ancestral lands under the English crown. England defeated the French at the Battle of Brimule. Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. In 1120, his son and heir, William Adelin, died in a shipwreck. The future of Henry I's kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, Matilda. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their promise. England would not be ruled by a woman. Matilda's cousin, Stephen, saw his chance 
and claimed the throne. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king, but Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Their conflict engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities, Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle. But King Stephen was determined to take it back. He besieged the castle. Stalemate. As dawn broke on February the 2nd, everything was about to change. Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. Get away for blood on bar. It's obey my hands. Send the bed to me. Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy. Robert defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. What be a finished? It's so essa aviata. What will that it's to a sua thuetest? Hesse shouldn't be. 
Eichel. And Shanka bought Thunder. Tema away to Paris. It sailed the boat! With more of Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. Get away for blood on bar. Robert's men decimated King Stephen's reinforcements and were poised to break the siege. Continuing the push towards Lincoln, Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. To further weaken the siege, Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town. What will thou? He cannot do. So will they head. For the end they has this. Ben does his enemy near me! And swift, yes. Cause, a large group of knights arrived at Lincoln to bolster Robert's army. With the market town in ruins, 
King Stephen's supplies began to dwindle. Robert received word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. But King Stephen had the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded, and the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Welshmen. Making their way to Lincoln, Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the King's soldiers. Robert's men would need to aid the Welsh if they wanted their help in breaking the siege. Joining forces on the road to Lincoln, Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. Robert's forces spotted a large detachment of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gates. If they hoped to liberate Lincoln, they would need to break the blockade and rout the army. Robert's forces scattered the king's army, leaving the gates to the castle unguarded. Admina Werder, Ferris. Who 
Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. They could now use the castle to strengthen their army. To lift the siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle. It is Sitha for actors. Shh. What need it be on your lady? Good readeth new to this. some worker. Delphing to do. Yare to done some work. No, Tulkes, set at ya. Look at ya 
Copy at the ready, Frekus. Yeah, yeah. Yet to be ready for Hestus. Y'all be at the ready, Frekis. It's living here.
Matilda's forces struck hard, destroying one of King Stephen's siege camps. Stephen's army had broken through the sturdy walls of Lincoln Castle. Those loyal to Matilda had to ensure that the keep did not fall. King Stephen's army dwindled as Matilda's forces struck down another siege camp. army was scattered, and those who didn't fall fled. King Stephen was spotted, shielded by his men. To end the siege, Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army. Matilda's men closed in and finally captured King Stephen. Matilda's forces had won the battle at Lincoln. But the fight for the crown was not over yet.